Under the shanks tab, we will use the classic shank command for this tutorial, so click on the classic icon. Click on the pencil button. Click on the bottom right corner of the viewport and select the shaded display mode. This will facilitate the visualization of the model. Let's change the profile of this ring, click on the profile preview, and in the asset selector dialog, select 084. We will also edit some parameters like the width to 1.5 mm and height to 2.0 mm. Click on the bottom profile tab and click on the switch. Let's change the profile of this ring, click on the profile preview, and in the asset selector dialog, select 084. We will also edit some parameters like the width to 2.5 mm and height to 2.0 mm. Click on the external profile tab and click on the switch. Let's change the profile of this ring, click on the profile preview, and in the asset selector dialog, select 006. We will modify the top parameter to 4.0 mm. We will set the to 2.0 mm in the middle and bottom parameters. Next, on the lower part, you will find the advanced area, with the gems and finishing parameters. Click on the finishing tab and select pinch, you will get a narrowed part on the top section. Change the opening to 4.7 mm, base X to 1.8 mm, base E to 1.3 mm, and base E to 1.1 mm. After making these modifications, it's an excellent time to apply the changes. Click on the accept button in the top right corner. Under the gems tab, click on the gems creator command. Once the diamond is created, click on the Add button. Select the diamond, and using the gumball, drag the green arrow upwards slightly above the classic ring. Select the diamond, click on the Basket command, select the standard element BA001, and click on the Pencil button. Click on the 4 prongs Straight Configuration. Change Mode to Circle. Make sure you have selected the correct grip. We will modify the height parameter to 4.0 mm, gem inside to 0.4 mm, the over girdle to 0.5 mm, the bottom diameter to 1 mm bottom rail inside to 0.5 mm. Click on the base rail tab. Click on the upper rails profile and select the standard asset 002. Click on the lower rails profile and select the standard asset 002. We will edit some parameters of the upper rail, set the width and height to 1 mm and the height under the girdle to 1.3 mm. We will also edit some parameters of the lower rail, set the width and height to 0.6 mm and the height under the girdle to 1.3 mm. Once done, click on the Confirm Changes button. Select the classic ring and the basket gem set. To see the Render and Animation tab, go to Settings and activate it. Then, inside the Render and Animation toolbar, under the Material section and in the Metal category, click on the white gold 18K material. Next, unselect everything, select the diamond, and under the gem category, click on the diamond material. Under the ground category, click on basic ground reflection. Set the perspective angle and distance you want your render to be. Then move your cursor over the lower right corner of the viewport and click on the ray tracing icon. Finally, set your preferred resolution and quality parameters, and click on the Render button. That's all, I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions.